Hello, hello, <coughs> hello, hello. I'm now inside my Volvo EX30 and I saw that there's an update on the software. So right now I'm going to update it to the latest software. Let me show you the screen. So as you can see from this screen, you need to go to this car settings. And from this car setting, you need to go to this system. From the system itself, under security update, you can see that there's basically a new software which is called the version 1.4.2 ready to install. So I'll be installing the software right now. It says that it takes about 29 minutes to install and the car cannot be accessed or used during this installation okay let's do it preparation time is 1 minute and 53 second and it says that make sure the windows are closed and the car is locked so basically you go inside this car you come inside this car you set it to installation mode and you can leave the car and that's it interesting but of course I want to just to take a look and uh, let's wait for another one and a half minutes to see what is going on because this is my first time to have an update on this car and I'm curious what kind of things will happen or what things will happen during during this update Another 20 second more and I was reading the comment, the, the instruction, it says that make sure no people or pets are left in the car. So I believe of course they'll reset the car and even if your icon is on, it may just turn it off and then restart the car. And now 2, 1, 0. Okay. Basically, if I'm in the car, you cannot start the, you cannot start the installation. So I have to leave the car. Okay, that's it. Okay, surprisingly or not surprisingly, it is very good. Means you can't access the car. You can't be in the car to get this software. And I'll come back later after the update. And that's it for now. So it has been a few hours after I did the update and from my apps um, I know that it has been done. So right now I'm going to check out the whole new OS or the software. Let me see. Okay, first thing I notice is that it has a new overview startup. Let me see. Yes, um, usually this is not the screen that I see. Usually the screen that I see is this with the maps and everything. But right now it has that new interface. And then let me check the status. Or at least uh, let me check. Okay, software updated and yeah the release notes as I mentioned before the car play will be the one that is the most significant significant um, improvement and as mentioned there's a new welcome view that is different from the usual one and other improvement is adapt to speed limit is not working in Singapore because we don't use this um, this kind of uh, speed limit assistance due to the fact that our speed sign is slightly different from Europe. Okay, radio reception, road sign information, ways third party app. 
okay and yeah that's about it and right now i have my iphone with me i want to do the car plating let me let me check yeah this is my iphone i will have to do some setting up a few moments later okay my iphone has been updated to iphone ios 18 um i'm phone, trying to follow the instruction from the software after the software update so apparently there's a apple car play right now over here this is a new icon just for your info the new icon because i don't see it before that and i'm supposed to go to apple car play on my on my phone let me show you okay i'm going to so i'm going to press this apple car play here and go to bluetooth okay so i can see this volvo ex30 here let me connect to it okay confirm okay i'm connected to so right now i have a symbol over here say connect to carplay and yeah i connect to carplay right now and uh, blah 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 i have to okay, precise while using app okay something i need to do a lot of phone call bluetooth connect of course i need to allow and yeah once i allow these three things i can press the accept and yes that's it so right now you can see carplay is on my iphone screen and yes this is carplay so Okay, sorry, this is CarPlay and so I have the app on the CarPlay itself and the reason why you are not seeing the map is because I don't have connections over here. Let me turn on my, let me see, let me turn on hotspots for my phone to be connected to the iPhone. A few moments later. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, apparently you need to have data in order to use the CarPlay. Okay. How do I stop CarPlay? Let me see, I may need to go to the car settings. And this connect carplay. So as you can see, if I'm connected to carplay correctly, I will have these carplay options over here, and you can just launch it once you have your iPhone with you. And that's it.